welcome back i hope you're all okay look what has arrived so this came about a week or two ago um completely surprised out of the blue just like last month um usually the lady i speak to at madam glam she sends me a quick email just to say like this is out for delivery or whatever and it usually comes like on that day or the day after um <clears throat> But yeah, this just turned up out of the blue and I emailed her and I was like, oh my God. Um, and then she sent me all the info uh, and it's just beautiful. So I've done a quick swatch in as a short. It's also on my Instagram page as well, if you want to have a quick look at that. But there's four holographic colours and four normal creamy, fully pigmented. Oh my God, they're just so, so nice. Wait till you see how the holographic goes on top of the actual gel polish colours. They're so nice. Someone asked about morning alarm. Is it a red or a brown? And I said it's literally like in between. It's like the perfect ready brown. It's a red, but it's got a hint of orange in it and brown. It is a perfect autumnal fall colour. I've been eating chocolate, so my mouth is a little bit claggy. You know how your mouth goes all weird? Um, so excuse me for my voice. We're using green, guru and erudite and food coma. So the green guru is guru, guru, either way. It's a, it's like a sage green and it's so, so nice. It's like a mixture between pistachio and sage. One of my favourite colours. If you've seen the little nail room, my actual room, it's green and pink and I freaking love it. It's like racing car green. Now you've got like proper British racing car green colour. Oh, I love it. And then hints of pink everywhere. My chair, my desk, all the little bits and bobs that are, you know, like interchangeable. Like all my nail bits, I've got a little pink fan. My um, lymphary wipes are pink. My nail things, all the... the the press on order stuff is all pink, all my stickers, my nail buffers, everything. I love it. Oh, and I'm drinking a martini as well because four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, why not? Um, so I've used Green Guru, Guru, Guru on the thumb of the pinky and then Food Coma on the other three nails. And they're all going to have two coats of that in the lamp now madam glamour did mention a couple of weeks ago maybe that they are now curing in 60 seconds not 30 seconds anymore so just bear in mind i obviously a lot of their older stuff it's only the recent ones that are curing in 60 seconds um but i've always cured their whites and their blacks and their like the deep dark colours, um, like Scorpio Season and Ready Set Ski and Sunset in Florida. Those ones that are super highly pigmented and super rich. I've always given them 60 seconds anyway. Um, but just have a quick look on the bottle, just in case it's new or old. And you want to make sure that you're curing for the correct time. We don't want undercured gel, whether it's for a press-on or on an actual client or yourself. Um yeah, that's even worse than a press on because it can lead to allergies so make sure you're fully fully curing after it's had two coats we have grabbed green guru again and we're doing a ombre on the index and the middle and then we're going to do a french on the ring finger hasn't the british weather just been bloody gorgeous just lately it started to get a little bit not wet today but it's just a little bit cloudy today so we thought we're going to invite um our nieces and uh, niece and nephew around and uh, my sister-in-law and her partner um set the fire pit up and have some marshmallows roast some marshmallows around the fire pit and have a few more martinis because they've just come back from holiday we haven't seen them for over a week so i thought that'd be quite nice plus we've got a load of stuff to burn so need to get it done Keep coming at me with your suggestions as well. Um, I have nearly finished some, like drawing up some designs for some of your suggestions. I haven't finished all of them yet. Uh, but yeah, there'll be videos coming very soon with those ones. I'm not saying which ones, which suggestions. Uh, not slurring at all because I want to keep it a surprise. We've got to keep it a surprise until it's actually up and ready to watch. So once they've all had their ombre look at how this goes on 
isn't it just it's the silkiest you know how madame Lam's polishes are like super creamy and smooth this is next level this goes on so nicely it's like silk like butter just melted butter and it just it is beautiful oh my gosh i love it yeah really really nice love that so i'm gonna do everywhere where there is green guru that erudite is going to be over the top of that so on the ombre on the french and on the full of the pinky but that only needs one coat because we've got the green guru underneath you don't need two coats of the holographic erudite and again make sure you're curing for the full 60 seconds when you are using these they're available to buy on the website they've just come out today so i'll leave a link in the description box with um a link to their actual website and then a link to just this collection and my discount code to save 30 percent as well that's little nail room 30 but bear in mind you can't use that on the outlet because they're also already sorry super heavily discounted and if you are a vip then you already get 50 percent off so you don't need the 30 percent off <laughs> only works as the pay as you go and i love that they have that option they have the option of setting up like a subscription plan that you can cancel at any point their vip membership it's 28 dollars a month i think it is just comes out of the bank Every month, I don't even know that it's gone sometimes. And then I go to shop on Madame Glam and I'm like, oh my God, look how much credit I've got sort of thing, which is great for Christmas, for their advent calendar, because that is hella expensive, but I bloody love it. It is so, so worth the money, especially when it comes um, discounted, when they do it for like half price. And then you've got all that store credit. Perfect. I've grabbed two glitters apple sour and iridescent hex mix in green both from charlie's nail art supplies um this isn't for one of their weekly co collaborations or anything i just brought these recently which you will see actually on wednesday the haul video is coming of all the bloody crap that i've just brought i've just gone mad but it's not included in the born pretty stuff um that's gonna have to be a separate haul on its own i think there's just so much stuff that has just come through the post I went a little bit nuts my birthday month so a girl wants what a girl wants i suppose um oh, what am i doing now drinking martini is what i'm doing i have no i've base coated everywhere where there's green everything that's green is base coat and then the mixture of apple sour and the iridescent hex glitter mix and i'm not putting it on in like any rhyme or reason i'm just sparsely putting it on there and because the apple sour is a little bit chunky once it's cured sorry i'm eating a sweet now as well <laughs> once it's cured whenever i eat uh, sorry drink alcohol i get really hungry once it's cured i have done a couple of layers of base coat over the top of it to kind of encapsulate it and then we have done a matte top coat i have ordered new rhinestone boo gel and i have picked up a couple of these charms uh which you will see again on wednesday so i've had to use some of the stuff before you get to see the haul mainly because of the few like born pretty and madame glam videos that i kind of have to do for a certain day if that makes sense so some videos that i've already pre-recorded have to get pushed back a little bit um but these are so nice so so nice i've added the love heart like a beady love heart two stars and then some pearls and then if you've got any shiny bits of that rhinestone glue gel left over after you've cured just put a little bit more matte top coat on to hide that and it all blends in lovely so i'm using a lovely bow on the french and then two uh just green ab rhinestones near the cuticle and then on the middle nail it's going to have like a swoosh of flowers so we've got that big rose in the center and then we're going to use these which has got like it's like a rose again but it has like a different colored rose in the center and then two smaller versions of that center one either side of that the pinky nail is staying plain and then for the index finger we're going to have a a um circle around a b 
rhinestone, then a teardrop, then a diamond, and then like a rectangle. Um, and then using the second largest and then going down every other size with those round AB crystals, rhinestones. And then pretty much that is it. Because they're a bit large on the large side, I do faff around for quite a while to make sure that they are all in place and they're all right down the centre. Give them a cure, touch up with any matte uh, top coat and you are done. Look at these. I love them. Those flowers on that centre nail. Love them. And whilst I do want the erudite, the holographic green, to have a shiny uh, glossy top coat, for this set, I think it worked with a matte, but I did question myself a lot. Should I just do it glossy? Because it's holographic, but in the end, I just stuck with matte and I think it worked out okay in the end, but there will be another one where we let the hollow shine. But please let me know what you think. Don't forget everything I've used will be linked in the description box down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.